All right, how to service a for sale by owner. This is, uh, this is topic towards real estate agents wanting to implement for sale by owners in their business cycle. <clears throat> okay, and I really do hope that there is a for sale by owner that's watching this today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to the point here. I put a little heart up here. Today is Valentine's Day. I was unaware of that. Um, so, okay, so what is a for sale by owner? There's somebody that, that, that uh, has, ha, wants to sell their property and has put it on the market with, with no representation at all, okay? So, with that being said, number one reason a for sale by owner is a for sale by owner is because they do not see the value in an agent. They just don't. They do not see a value in an agent at all, okay? So, <clears throat> why not? Well, I mean, that's a 64-hour question. Um, so, and it's not about the money, okay? It, I mean, it might be a little bit about the money, but the fact is, if 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 they if they saw an agent's value exceeded what they would actually have to pay them, they wouldn't have an issue. They'd be like done, completely done. Okay. So here's the initial. Here's kind of the preemptive planning here. What you have to have before you make initial contact with this individual is you have to have a plan. You need to have a plan that you you know for certain that if you plug their house into your plan that it will sell. And there's a lot of variables that go into play here, but you need to be confident that if, if all those variables match up and you plug their property, they will get it sold. It will sell, okay? So plan, 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 plan. You, you need to take a look at their property first and foremost, see where they're at on price, um, and, uh, you know, do that. Spend about five minutes before you make contact with them, okay? And the reason, most importantly, is this ties into the value too because why in the hell would you call them with, with the same approach that they're using and try to and try to get them to pay you eight grand for it? That's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and it's unethical. Okay, so moving into the call here. Let's say we've got a for sale by owner that's listed at two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so two hundred thousand dollars have got it on They've got it listed. They've just hit the market, zero days on Zillow. Four saves, okay? So $200,000, your first question, your first initial, you know, what, what they call the pitch, you need to make it up front. Hey, Mr. For Sale, or Mrs. For Sale by owner. My name's Justin, and, and before I actually start asking you questions about your property, I just wanted to let you know that I'm an agent. I'm a real estate agent here locally where your property's listed. And wanted just to see if I brought a qualified buyer that was really interested in your property, would you pay me a commission? Ask the question. I'd like 3%, would, would you take 3%? They're either gonna say yes, no, or they're gonna say, uh, how about two? Okay, so let's say they're nice and they give you 3%. Okay, so that's going to be $6,000. So $6,000, they will pay you to bring somebody that's qualified to the table. Okay, and work, work, work with them. So here's what we got. Okay, so we know that's the commission. Commission on buyer side, okay? So, <clears throat> next question, first of all, you need to thank them, say, hey, thank you, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, move on to the next question. Now, if I brought a buyer that came in, you know, needed some closing costs covered, let's say their closing costs were $6,000, let's hope they're not, but if they were $6,000, would you, would, how much would you cover? Let's say they'd cover half. Yeah, we would cover half. Okay, we, we would cover half. Great, great, great. Buyers, closing 
costs. Okay, so they are going to cover half, which is incredible. Thank you so much. You need to be appreciative with these people. You know, they're spending the time to talk to you. They already don't see the value in you. Okay, they're giving you the time of day. They don't have to. So, with that being said, they will cover closing costs. Now, Mr. or Mrs. For Sale by Owner, if I came in with a buyer at $190,000, he was ready to go, he'd close in 30 days, would you take it? Um, maybe, I might take it, okay? I, I might take it. Okay, so let's say they let's say they take 192, okay? So they're gonna take eight grand off the cost. <clears throat> off price which I don't know why I don't I don't even know why a buyer would want to get eight thousand dollars off the property I mean why I mean it's not going to make any difference in your mortgage payment okay and eight grand really is not that much money okay so anyways <clears throat> moving forward here let's do the math let's stop for a second okay because you're about you're about a minute and a half two minutes maybe three minutes into the call which you need to have all this done within two minutes so Let's do the math here. Six, nine, seventeen thousand dollars. They've already discounted off their price. Okay, that's including your commission. So, what is what is it at? Let's times two hundred thousand times what would be a six percent commission. That's going to be twelve thousand dollars. Okay, so at twelve thousand dollars. Okay. Look, two hundred thousand dollars minus twelve twelve thousand dollars. That's going to put you right at one eighty eight. One eighty eight. One hundred eighty eight thousand. Okay, and they have not even paid doc stamps on the deed. Now let's let's look at on in this side. That's going to put them at one one eighty three. One eighty three. One hundred eighty three thousand. At 183, now see what see what's happened here. Okay, so you've asked these questions. They said yes to all these, which I can tell you how to, to how to how to go about it if they don't agree to me. This okay. So there's a, there's there's another way here, but theoretically speaking, they say yes. Okay, they're very by this point they're very reasonable. Okay, <clears throat> at 183,000 is what they what their bottom line is, and they haven't even paid dot stamps on the deed or anything like that or any of those other costs that might be associated or that are conventional to what a seller would pay. So at 108, look, 6%, your commission, okay, that's, a, that's an initial five, that's, a, that's an additional $5,000. Now, look, watch, watch what happened here. So at $5,000 is the difference between if you paid them a, if they paid you a 6% commission Versus if they paid you a three percent commission and they covered all these, they covered closing costs and got off the price. Now, here's here's where this little guy right here comes in, and this one. Okay, so we're at five thousand dollars already. So now what you need to tell them is you need to agree with them, say you know thank you, be very appreciative, very respectful. And you need to say, okay, so I've done the math already, Mr. For Sale By Owner, and uh, based on the information you've given me, if you if you listed this property with me at six percent, I would I, I would have made you an, I could save you five thousand dollars off the numbers we just did. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, Mr. For Sale By Owner, now you need to move into the appointment. Okay, I mean you've pretty much already done the work, so. You need to move into setting the appointment. <clears throat> if they don't want to meet with you, that's fine. Send them a video, okay? So now you need to, now you, this is where you have to build value, okay? I mean, you've already built value in, in, in this side, okay? Knowing, showing, doing math, saying, hey, look, I'm going to save you $5,000 by listing the property with me, okay? And guess what? You're going to have somebody like me. That's going to save you the $3,000 on closing costs. That's not, absolutely not going to let them get $8,000 off the price. Have you seen enough to make a decision? And they may or may not have done this math. They, I mean, if they have, maybe they are waiting for somebody to call them and explain it to them. <coughs> now, you have to 
have a plan that's logical, that makes sense, that's inevitable, okay, that's relevant and believable, okay? So, very important. I've broken down this math for you, okay? I mean, that, that explains it right there. They're going to have representation, okay, depending on your, your brokerage. They're going to have representation. They're going to have a lot better marketing, promotion, negotiations, okay? It's going to save them time. They don't have to deal with repairs. So on and so forth. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, okay? So, with that being said, Mr. For Sale by Owner, would there be any reason you wouldn't give me five minutes? Five minutes to run back through this and show you how I'm worth the 3%. And that's it. That's all you got to do, okay? And another thing is, have a lot going on. Have... Have 20 for sale by owners that you can service, okay? Because this is this is the whole point of all this, is to service, service these people, okay? So that's going to be it today. I gave you a lot of information. So <clears throat> if you need any help or you're for sale by owner watching this, contact me. If, if you hate what I said, please contact me, okay? So hope you guys have a great day, great Valentine's Day. I'll talk to you soon.